Hey y'all, I'm Allie, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a like, I don't know, just kind of random video, a bookmark collection tour. So as a reader, I collect bookmarks. I don't ever really use them, honestly. If it comes down to it, I'm using like just random bits of paper. I use receipts. I use sticky notes most of the time. Um, if I'm tabbing something, I just use the little tab strips. So um, these are mostly for aesthetic purposes. I do use them occasionally. It's not that like, they don't ever get used. There's some that I really fall in love with and think are really great. But for the most part, they're just beautiful to look at. So, and they're great for taking pictures and props, and they're just, they're pretty simple and easy. I think they're good gifts because they're not expensive, and they're cool, and they're cute, and they're fun. So, I'm going to show you guys my bookmark collection. I used to keep mine, like, in a vase type thing, vase, whatever, but I now keep them in a nice decorative box that goes on the bottom of my shelves. And this just keeps them all in one place and safe and sound and such because my cats like to chew on them. So I'm going to show you I have different varieties, different types. Um, I have some that are magnetic, some that are metal, some that are like exclusive to a box. So I'm going to try my best to tell you guys where things have come from. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of do like a little talk about them what I like about them, things like that. It might be a little repetitive, I'm sorry, but let's get into this. I want to talk magnetic ones first just so I can get them out of the way because this is still attached to the paper there. I'm sorry if the light is kind of reflecting back. But these are the Stranger Things cast, which is just so stinking cute. Look at Elle, oh my goodness. And I do believe that they kind of have the same thing going on on the back. Oh wait, do they? Yeah. So these are really cute. I've just left them on here. These are from Shelf Love. They came in a box, but I just thought they were really cute. I leave them on here just, I don't even know why. Like I could probably take them off, but then they'll just get lost in the fray in the box. These little mixed tapes, and I just think that these are so stinking cute. I think there was originally three or four, but I have since lost them or they've gotten the dryer or they're stuck to something somewhere. But these are really cute because they have the little, like, sh the string, the tape coming out. And these are just so neat. I've actually used these quite a lot just because I love these so much. And I think I just got these at, like, Barnes & Noble a few years ago. But they kind of sparked this collection. They were in the very beginning of time. I also have these little elephants which came from Target and these were a pack of four. Again, I used these so much that they fell apart and just have gone, disappeared, the cats ate them, something. So these are the only two, two left standing. And then another one that was a pack of four were these little owls, and they were so cute, and again, I use them so much that they are just gone, I don't know, they're beaten up, they've disappeared, so this is the only one left standing of that group. I also have these ones, which are actually more of like planner bookmarks, they are also magnetic, um, this one says goals, to do, we have this one which just has this little design, uh, make stuff happen, I think that's what that says. And then another little design, so they're whoop, pretty basic. We have this one which is a little rainbow lamb taking a picture, which I thought was just so cute. And then I have this little hat, it says admit one, and I think this is supposed to be from like the night circus themed maybe, possibly, I don't remember, but it's also a magnetic one. Why do I keep dropping things? Another Night Circus one that I have, which is also as magnetic, is the main character from Night Circus. I don't remember her name, but as you can see, I've never taken this out. I think this came in a bookie box years ago, but I've never taken this out of a thing. But it's uh, like this anime style. It's pretty cute. And then this one came in a fairy loot. It is a collection, I believe. I don't know who these characters are. I think I said that. So I do know that she is from The Wrath and the Dawn. Um, and I don't remember. He's also from The Wrath and the Dawn, but I don't know if I remember if these two are also from The Wrath. I don't remember, but these are just absolutely gorgeous ones as well. Then I have some Shatter Me ones. So this is, I don't even remember her name from Shatter Me. I think Warner. 
I don't know. And then the other dude, Adam, maybe. I don't remember. I didn't like that series, but I have the bookmarks from... I think these came in a fairy loot box, I want to say. So they're pretty neat because they're the first ones I have that like look like real people. They're not like the super cartoony version, but yeah. And then we have my favorite ones, hands down, but I will say these are probably the most poorly made, and this is the cast of Six of Crows. So we have Kaz. I refuse to use these because they're just flimsy. Um, actually, I don't know if Matthias, he like only has part of his magnet still and I like haven't really used these for anything. I got these at an Etsy shop. I think Brian got them for me. So, um, Waylon. We have Nina who also is missing. Well, she's not missing. The, the magnet has just come off of the one side. Uh, Jesper and then Anej. So I love these. I think these are so stinking cute, but again, they're not the best the most well-made ones, but they're just so stinking cute. I can't hold them all. Okay, and I'm just gonna count these just cause they're a little different. These are paper clip ones, um, but they've got this heavy metal. So this says mad but fab. Then we have, this is a Rowan, we have, I think this is supposed to be Jace, but the red hair throws me off, and then, who the heck is this? I don't remember. I don't know who this guy is supposed to be, but I got him. But these are really kind of heavy duty, they're too heavy I think to put in a book, honestly. Oh, that's a bad sound, but yeah. So these two random ones are kind of similar because you put them on a page kind of deal like the paperclip ones. This one's just of a cat and I don't even know where this has come from. I don't know if it was a gift. If I found it, a cat has chewed on it. But you would put this between the pages and it holds it. And then I also have this one which is so cute because like you move the legs and you would put it on the legs a certain way. And then the little head like sticks out and it's really cute but it just sticks out way too far. <laughs> to be like usable unless it's only at home but it's so cute and I think this was a gift years ago and then random but it's in my bookmark thing some sort of Pokemon card why is this in here I don't know I've used it as a bookmark apparently at some point in life I do have two of these like stringy ones so they're really neat this one has a little skull on it and basically you put it wherever the pages and you hang that oh I'm sorry and then I also have one that has a little flower on it and these are like the best honestly because they keep your place and they stay and they're not going anywhere and they're just great these both came in an unplugged book box so not at the same time different times but they came I believe the majority of my things have come in a box so I'm gonna show you some of them this one's also from unplugged we all light our own private wars. Oh, we all fight our own private wars, sorry. Um, maybe we just lived between hurting and healing. So this was from an unplugged book box. And then this one was also, it just says photography and it's just plain, but these were from an unplugged book box. I think they're really cute. I also have these which came in book of the month. I do wish that the colors changed from month to month I think that would be cool like they just had a different color for each month and it actually had the month on there but they do not so I also received these metal ones in book boxes this one's one of my favorites it's this gold leaf which is just absolutely gorgeous it's really thin it does have a hole at the end so if you weren't into that you could use it as something else but I just love this it's absolutely stunning I also have and I kept this in the plastic um, to protect it to keep from getting scratched up but it's also just absolutely gorgeous there's like a mason jar on here it says I turned my nightmares into fireflies and caught them in a jar and that's a Lainey Taylor quote but this is gorgeous it is also very thin and I also have this pinky one and this is a Brandon Sanderson quote let them see my weakness and let them see me overcome it which is also pretty gorgeous. I don't remember which box this came in. This is a more recent one, but it does have a little thing on the top, but 
again gorgeous next I'm just gonna show you guys my bookie box ones which if you don't know bookie box has been out of commission for quite some time I think almost a year now but I received almost every single box that they had so <laughs> Well, let's, uh, let me show you. So, we have Wonderfully Noble, Beautifully Human, Tragically Stupid. <laughs> this is Jay Kristoff. Um, then we also have In Life, The Monsters Win, which is this just kind of gorgeous design on here. These are some of my favorite because they're kind of thicker and they're laminated, so they're very durable. My cats could not really chew through these. We have I Live on the Cusp of Two Worlds, trying desperately to fit into one. Um, we have this one, which is just kind of this space kind of one. And then on the back it says, the question isn't who's going to let me, it's who's going to stop me. We also have It's Not About Being Fearless, It's About Acting in Spite of Fear. And I want to say that's like a... Is that divergent? I don't know. Brighter, the light, the deeper, the shadow. I want to say that this is a Nevernight one. Drop. I got the dropsies. Cruelty is easy to repay. My lord, kindness is another matter. I don't know if this is a bookie box one. It has the feel of a bookie box one. And this is Aline. Aelin, sorry. Aelin from Therna Gla Gra Oh my god. Glass. I am the saviors. You cannot force my hand. I don't know what this says, but it's a beautiful design. Um, there is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise, and this is a Wonder Woman. We also have Fine, Make Me Your Villain, which is like the most iconic YA quote, I feel like, <laughs> of all time. Um, soft hearts make the universe worth living in, and this one's thicker for some reason. I don't know why but it's uh, much sturdier than the others. And magic will find those with pure hearts even when all seems lost. So those are all of my bookie box ones. I'm just gonna drop all these because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that's one way of doing it. The more random ones, I have these shelf love ones, which has this gorgeous warrior woman on it. And I love the Shelf Love kind of logo design. So cool. I'm not afraid of storms for I'm learning to sail my ship. And this is from Unicorn Crate way back when I used to get those. So it was this uh, Mulan inspired one. Expect nothing. Be prepared for anything. And just absolutely gorgeous. A warrior must only care that his spirit is never broken. Must only take care. And then I had a few of these from... The Willoughby Book Club. And this is the only one I can find. I have always imagined that Paradise will be a kind of library, which is like my favorite quote habit, which I don't believe is still in existence. So. And then I have this one, which is from Uppercase Book Box, which I know does not exist. So I don't even remember what book this is for. Probably could just throw that away. Probably my biggest collection are my fairy loot bookmarks. I love these. They have like, th when you got them on the back, they say what month and the theme and stuff, but I have quite the collection of these. These are in no particular order. I'm just going with what I'm grabbing. So we have this galaxy, battles and galaxy, unlikely romances. Oh, this one's a shelf love one, but I, whoops, I accidentally threw it in there, but this one's really cool. I will say that the fairy loot ones are a little thicker than the shelf love ones, just based on just feeling them now. Magic in the City, Star Crossed Swoons, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous design. The Power Within, Save the Kingdom, Whimsical Journeys, this might have been my first one. Possibly. Rebels in ball gowns. Oh God. Beast and beauty. Memorable moments. I think this one's pretty iconic. I feel like I've seen it a good many places. Broody banter. Mutinous pirates. Dragons. Unbreakable bonds. Gorgeous. Beautiful deceptions. 
Who designs these? These are just amazing. Favorites! Which is cool. Dark Magic, which is like one of my favorites. Things are not what they seem. And then my two most recent ones, we have Witches Be Crazy, which is gorgeous as well. And then Love at First Bite. So there's all my fairy loot ones. Oh god. This is not a very graceful way of doing this. Why do I continue to do this this, this way? I'm gonna quickly just show some of my promotional ones. So these come in boxes. Like this one was for Tempest and Slaughter, but it's gorgeous because it is a feather. Um, but I have the Fates Divide Mirage. Uh, this is something. Cold Day in the Sun. This one actually came with the book for Hadley Hill. So they... Um, this is Julie's from Pages and Pens. This is her book. She sent me her book and she sent me a bookmark that matched it. We have the Bells. The Wicked King, which actually had a pin connected to it. You can see the hole. But I kept it. Nerdy Girl Designs, which I guess came possibly with something I had ordered. Who knows? <laughs> Drunk on Books. This was actually Books and Ballad. It used to be a company. I don't know if they still sell clothing or not. Story Book Cosmetics. I bought something from there one time and they sent a bookmark with it which is, I thought was pretty cute. I get these occasionally in ARCs. Read it, read it, review it. Curse So Dark and Lonely. Look how big this is. So City of Brass which has this neat um, kind of door and Kingdom of Copper. So it has the door at the top which is cool. Smoke in the Sun. The Poppy War. I love the ones that have a little bit of a cutout in them. And then the last one, which was really neat, it came like in a promotional box. This was the escape room, so getting in is easy, getting out is murder, and it's holographic. So I thought it was pretty neat. I have a bunch from Book Depository. They did these like colorful ones, and you could, oh wait, these are not Book Depository. These are just colorful. So I have these ones which you can just color in. I think they had these at the library. So I took all the designs to color them in and just never, never did. So they're pretty neat. They're just from the library. But I do have some from Book Depository which are kind of the same concept. I think I have some duplicates but these were like a collectible thing each year. So this one has like a little village and hills and stuff. This one has like monsters and creatures and stuff. This one is gorgeous. I love this one. I think it's my favorite with the flowers. This is the monsters one again and this one's another favorite too. It has like the books and like the sea type thing. So really love those. Um, they do have who designed them on the back which I thought was really neat and the books that they recommend that I just thought was so cool. I don't really know where these ones are from. Uh, they probably came in a box. I won't let your ignorance silence my pain. Um, we, must we must find things just as we lose things. If we've lost your honor, you'll find it again. I don't know where that came from. I also have this Cruel Prince one, which is gorgeous. I know this probably came in a box, and I do not remember which one. But it is gorgeous. It's really thick nice material too. All's Fair and Love and War. Again, don't know what I got that from. These are from the library. These are Mo Will Willems characters, Pigeon and Piggy and Elephant. And yep, I just thought they were really cute so I stole them. I also have, this one is from the library, Did You Know? Facts About Tigers. I thought I had more of these. I had a bunch of different animals but I just have the tigers one apparently. So I love these. These are so cute. It could be that some bookmarks are in books somewhere. Who knows? I have a Halloween playlist which I actually made years ago and I put a spell on you and I just put tape over it to keep it nice and solid. And then this beautiful gem is me. Look at that. That's me. 
<laughs> this was a custom made bookmark in school. I don't even know what it says. Reading is the, it's to the mind as exercise is to the body. I could put books I have read back here, but it was, this is a really hard material to write on. So I don't know why they did that. <laughs> Next I have some gifts. So this is one for my grandma. It's this older one. I love like the worn out look to it. Um, it is a longer quote, but I just, it's kind of vintage looking. So. One is another favorite. It is a thick wooden bookmark and Amanda from Read All the Books made this for me. It has my colorful logo. I've since redone that with just the like teal colors. But it is lovely. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I normally have this on display on my shelves because it's just, it means so much to me. I love it. Jessie from Bowtie and Books actually sent this to me for the Booktube Recognition Award. I was a runner-up last year for, I think it was like best thumbnail, but they made this for me. It's so shiny paper. Um, and I'm so surprised that they knew I was a Ravenclaw. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think it says on my Twitter, but <laughs> just in case. I'm going to say that they knew. Then we have this one. I am not even a Star Wars fan, but they had these at the library. <laughs> I stole it. <laughs> I also had a subscriber send me. They had seen how much I loved Rocky Horror Picture Show, and they sent me. <gasps> Look at this glorious, glorious bookmark. I'm too afraid to take it out. It's like my all-time favorite. It is the envy of my friends. <laughs> it is gorgeous. I keep trying to find the message of where she sent it to me. I cannot find it. If it was you, please let me know. I know I had a like a note in everything and it's gone. And she also sent me some that she had handmade as well. So read and let your imagination shore, which is just so stinking cute. Um, and I thought she had sent me another one, but I must have it in a book somewhere because I can't find it. That's my life. That is my life story. And speaking of, I recently was sent, so Bookish Burns Boutique actually sent me, had reached out and had asked if I would like a wooden bookmark that she actually hand makes, hand burns or whatever. And she surprised me because I had asked for the mountain from A Court of Thorns and Roses. These are really sturdy, really nice, um, pretty precise for burning. Like, I don't understand how people do that. And she actually surprised me by including, these are the Harry Potter Corner Stars, um, with a Ravenclaw blue tassel on it. So thank you so much for sending those my way. I love them. I'm going to be using them. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for sending these to me. They are absolutely stunning. I love these. I will leave a link to her Etsy store down below. That leads me to, these are wooden bookmarks. Some of these came in book boxes. Some of these are straight from Ink and Wonder, but Ink and Wonder is the manufacturer of all these. But like this one came in a fairy loot box, um, which is just this absolutely stunning stunning design. I love the different like woods and stuff. Um, there's this one. I think this is from The Hobbit. I think that was, uh, this came in like a, they, she does like, uh, Ink and Wonder boxes from time to time. This one's one of my favorites. It's double-sided. It's the Toil and Trouble song. I also have this one. It is Carrie. It came in the Halloween Ink and Wonder box. This one is Elaine Taylor. I think this also came in a box. This is Corpse Bride, which is also stunning. I think that came in the Halloween one. And we have this one, My Courage Always Rises at Every Attempt to Intimidate Me. And this one is like my favorite one. It's this bee design, which is just absolutely stunning. I do use these. I think I actually have one being used right now somewhere. And then I have some that I actually just bought at like uh, Books A Million. Though she be but little, she is fierce. I love this because I am, I'm a little, little person. Um, we're all mad here. Alice in Wonderland. And this one's my favorite. A room without books is like a body without a soul with a little typewriter. And these have this nice thick ribbon at the top. These are like my favorite ones, these ones here. We have all of my Harry Potter ones. So we have this one, number one desirable. This came in like a pin set. Um, a bookie box one. We must try not to sink beneath our anguish, but to battle on. She killed Sirius Black. 
You Coming to Get Her. And I think this is from... I don't remember what that's from. Some sort of box. Um, oh, he knows how to play Little Bitty Baby Pata. And then these last ones actually came in the mystery wand boxes. These are the last things that I have. They are holographic. So I got Harry Potter's wand. I got Cho Chang's wand. I got Old Moldy Boldy's wand. Some sort of Death Eater. We got Ronald Weasley and Neville Longbottom. Every last one is also an Ink and Wonder one, so anything is possible if you've got enough nerve. So, I am sorry for the bad videography on my part. I am not the best. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. So, I hope you guys have a like this video. Let me know if you have some of these bookmarks, what your favorite bookmarks are. It's weird that some of our favorite bookmarks are like the little insignificant looking ones and then they end up like meaning the most like little things that I personally bought for myself or the little gifts that people have handmade me those ones are always my favorite so yeah I hope you guys have liked this video don't forget to subscribe to see future un unboxings this is not an unboxing why did I say this is an unboxing I don't know subscribe for future videos from me thanks for watching and I'll see you next time uh, bye